Here we have two different USB-C hubs that work with the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera 4K G2. This is the Mokin, also known as Silor. They are both exactly the same thing and pretty much the go-to for most people. This one on the left is the much smaller Vangri that some have found to not work properly. In the video, I will show that it does work and works very well. I believe I have found the problem and will show the fix that is pretty simple. We can see it's recording. Now let's have a look at one of the problems people can have with the Vangri USB-C hub. The Pixis monitor is flickering on and off. It does this sometimes. However, it is still actually recording to the drive that I'm using, which is the CFast cards I featured in an older video. I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. A lot of us, I would guess, have come from the amazing Pocket 4K and other Pocket cameras. We are used to using USB-C 3.1 Gen 2. Now these cables are 10 gigabit cables. Using a 10 gig cable from the Vangri to the camera port is the problem. One day I decided to try a little yellow 40 gigabit cable that I had laying around and it worked. Then I saw the Silo specs and that's 20 gigabits. Anyway, these are the 20 gigabit cables I am using. They are really, really cheap. They have a tip protector and they come, you know, with a kind of keyring thing and various colors. Super, super cheap. I will post a link and show them in the video. Both hubs are good and I'm not going to tell you to pick one over the other, but you can clearly see the difference in size for starters. The Silor Mokin is huge and has a fixed cable, while the Vangri does not. I personally don't like it that much because if you damage the cable, then that's pretty much your hub done. Now with the Vangri, you attach your own USB-C cable. And if your cable gets damaged, it's really no biggie, you know? Pull it out, chuck it, throw it away, and attach another one. So that is another advantage of the tiny Vangri. Now I don't know what your rig is like, but it might make it easier to attach and keep it more compact, or not. It all depends on your rig build. This is my rig, a bit of industrial Velcro and it attaches just there. That's the same thing I have with the much bigger one, a bit of Velcro on the back and it also attaches to the rig. The cables that go into my Pixis monitor are 40 gigabit cables. It's a two pack from Amazon. This is the one I use, right angled, absolutely perfect. Super flush with the monitor and I really like it. My drive or recording media that I'm using, which is CFiles 2.0, uh, oh, the adapter is using a 20 gigabit cable. This is something that I like about these cables, just how flexible and super bendy they are. All of this together makes for a very nice compact rig using the Micro Studio. So the big question is, how did it actually perform? Well, very well. I ran my MPF batteries through it over and over again. Um, also, the power banks that I use for my Pocket 4K rigs. Have a look at this. Okay, this is the Solar Mokin. So far on my power bank, which is now at 7%. I can show you. That's flashing 7. It is the more conversion. The uh, Mokin Silo dies at 5 hours 12 minutes. Recording to the Vangri. Well, not recording to, using the Vangri USB C hub. The Vangri. That made it to five hours, uh, 17 minutes. So it's not really much of a difference, but hey, I ran it three different times and had pretty much the same result each time. 
So yeah, the Vangri performs very, very well. And of course, another crucial and valid question we have is heat. All right, that's the Vangri. It is so toasty outside. I'm gonna show you what I look like right now. I'm just coming from outside, man. All right, as you guys can see, it's 31 degrees outside. It's toasty indoors, no fan, no air conditioning. The Vangri, is it hot? Oh yeah, it's hot, but so does the other one get hot. Uh, yeah. And this thing has been running for hours, hours on end. It totally works. Heat is not a problem when it comes to the Vangri. The Pixis monitor has turned the micro studio into a micro cinema camera. Okay, it doesn't have Bluetooth or shoot 4K DCI, but it is the same sensor as the Pocket 4K cinema camera. Yes, there is a little difference. 18.96 versus 17.78 UHD is then. Just bump it up by 7% when you're chopping on a 4K DCI timeline and you'll be golden. Gonna leave you a lot with something interesting. Remember the NAB update that introduced the fantastic Pixis 12K that stole the show? Were you still paying attention? Or are you going to be hearing this bit right here for the first time? So the uh, software update for this will be called Blackmagic Cameras 9.7. It'll be a free update and available in a few weeks. We are actually uh, just need a bit more time testing it. And then you can use your Pixis monitor with your Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera 4K G2, which I think is going to be a wonderful combination. Hmm. Of course it was an innocent mistake. <coughs> or is the only camera that's missing from the Blackmagic lineup on his mind? That's food for thought. Like and subscribe. Help the channel out by using the affiliate links. And I'll see you guys in the next one.